to the channel. I'm Lana and today I'm talking money mistakes to avoid in your 20s. So if you are in your 20s and you are thinking about your financial future, this video is for you. If this is the first time you found my channel, welcome. So glad you're here. On this channel, I make videos simplifying money and home. If you need content like that in your life, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that YouTube lets you know whenever I upload a video. At least for me, my 20s have been a very exciting time. It's kind of a time when you're becoming a real adult, but like I didn't know what I was doing at any point and there's so many options and there's so many ways to spend money. So in this video, I wanna talk about a few of the mistakes that I have made so maybe you can avoid them and some of the things that I have done that I am very proud of that I got to do in my 20s. So with that, let's get right to it. Okay, the first big money mistake that you can make in your 20s is not considering the return on investment for college. And I really did not think about my return on investment for college until after I had gotten out and I was looking at those loan balances and that might be you also. So I went to college to get a degree in music education because I always wanted to be a music teacher. And I do remember my dad quizzing me about what kind of job I could get with this degree. And to me, that seemed totally irrelevant and I didn't care how much money I was gonna make. I was like, this is my dream. Don't crush my dream. But in the end, you do have to pay back those loans and you probably are going to have to go get a job and make money. So just considering while you're in college or before you go to college would be even better is if I get this degree, what kind of job would I get? Would I like that job? And how much money would I make at that job? So if you end up going to a private school that costs $50,000 a year and you get a teaching degree and then you make $50,000 a year, but now you have $200,000 worth of student loans, that is going to be incredibly painful for you later on. So just thinking about, is this worth it to me? Is there a way that I can do college for cheaper or in a different way am I gonna love this job so much that it doesn't matter if I make $40,000 a year or is this gonna be a job that's going to give me enough money to pay back all those loans and still accomplish my other goals I think the earlier we can consider these questions the better so fortunately I accidentally did college quite inexpensively so I went to community college when I was living with my parents and they helped out with the expenses of that. So I got my associate's degree at a community college for basically free to me, at least. I don't actually know how much that ended up costing my parents in books and gas and stuff like that, but it was, it was a very inexpensive degree to get. And then I went to a state four year college and completed my music education degree, but I got married quite young and this means that we were quite poor and so I qualified for all these grants and stuff and we applied for everything that we could try to get. And then as my husband started to make more money and he had to pay for more of the college, we tried to pay for as much college as we could and then at the end, our student loan bill was not that large. And this was kind of an accident. This was not me being clever or thinking about what it would take for us to pay back the student loans later or anything like that. And I wasn't being particularly thoughtful about picking my degree path based off what income I could make later or anything like that. I knew I could get a job and make some amount of money after I graduated, but I didn't know any of the particulars. But thinking about these things in advance and strategizing about your loan payback period in your life can be super helpful for your future, so don't neglect that in your 20s. My next strategy is a little bit of a downer and that is don't buy a cool car. Did I totally break this rule? Yes, kind of. <laughs> so your 20s are a time when you are setting up the financial pattern for your life, what kind of person you're gonna be with money and what kind of decisions you are likely to make. So this is a great time to practice living within your means and in all likelihood you are not made of money in your 20s and there's not extra money laying around to buy a fancy car but you still probably need a car to drive for sure but don't be like me and 
get frustrated with your old car and then get a huge loan on a nicer car. So my husband's first car was really starting to not meet our needs and I was getting so frustrated. I didn't follow the rule about waiting at least one day for a big purchase and so we just went out and we bought this Subaru. And this was our first and only car loan that we ever had and I regret this so much. Not only did we pick a car that was gonna need thousands of dollars of repairs, also had this huge loan attached to it. And I'm not saying that car loans are all evil in every way, but we could have, with the money that we actually had, bought a decent working car that wasn't as nice perhaps, but that would have met our needs and have been reliable, but not have gone into debt for that. So by the time we sold that Subaru, it was worth half as much as we ended up paying for it. So we lost so much money in having that loan, but it was definitely a good lesson for us. But if I had to go back, we would have bought a not cool car. This is kind of the, yes, you do need a car to get to work, I understand, but no, you do not need a Cadillac to get to work, okay? A Camry will do just fine. Even though it may be a lot less fun and the acceleration might not be as fancy, but you do not need a brand new car to get you to work. And your 20s are a great time to exercise that restraint on your car buying abilities. Because I'm sure if you go to a car dealership, they will qualify you for a very nice car, but then you will be saddled with those payments. And I'm guessing if you already have student loans, then you're gonna be adding more debt to that picture, which means it's gonna take you longer to get out of it. Which in the end, to me, that's not worth it. The next mistake that you might make in your 20s is not starting a Roth IRA. If you don't know about Roth IRAs yet, they are the coolest retirement account ever because you put money in now and at retirement you get to take the money out and all the growth that it's experienced tax free. So it's one of my favorite retirement accounts. The most important part of accumulating a lot of money in your Roth IRA is simply to get started early and put some amount of money in there. Like, you know, a hundred dollars would be awesome. But the earlier you get started with your Roth IRA, the more money you will have at retirement. Because the Roth IRA has limits about how much money you can put in per year. So last year it was $6,000, and that might seem like a lot right now, but it means that you can't necessarily catch up and put $12,000 in there a different year when you're feeling more flush. So whatever you can get in there now is so much better. So I have a video about two simple ways to start your Roth IRA. So if you wanna check out that video and get that Roth IRA started right now, definitely go check that video out after you finish watching this one. So we started my husband's Roth IRA much earlier than mine, maybe by a year or two. We just started my personal Roth IRA like a year ago. So it's only been like a year old and I'm like, ah! Oh! If I had started my Roth IRA 10 years ago, I'd have so much more money in there just by the fact that the money would have been sitting in there for longer, which would have been so cool. But hindsight is 2020, so the best time to start your Roth IRA was 10 years ago or 30 years ago, but of course the second best time is to start it today. So I know that in your 20s, retirement seems like it's a million years off and you have no idea what your life's gonna look like and your life is changing so much in your 20s, it's hard to imagine that you're gonna retire and that you are gonna need uh, money to retire on and stuff like that. But start that Roth IRA and you will not regret it because then hopefully if you keep contributing to it and it grows, hopefully when you get re to retirement, you will have a happy little surprise. You'll be like, look, there's a million dollars in my Roth IRA. That's pretty handy <laughs> because the little amount of money that you put in your Roth IRA now is so much more important than the money you put in it when you're 60 years old because the money that you're putting in now is a little bit, but it's gonna grow so much over that long period of time and it'll take so much less effort to become a Roth IRA millionaire if you start now even with just a little bit of money. My next mistake to avoid making in your 20s is not reaching for more. Don't sell yourself short in your 20s. So perhaps you went to college, you studied to do something and then you realize that it is not your favorite thing to do in the workplace. Well, figure out what you do wanna do. Figure out where you, what training you need to make that happen. 
retrain in your 20s. That's totally fine. We have a friend that is doing this right now. They got a degree, they realized they hated that job, but the courage to go and try something else and train to do something else and figure out how to make that work, this is gonna affect the rest of their life. And if they can find a job that they love and makes them more money than the previous option, that is gonna be amazing for their life. If you do that job that you are miserable in until you're 40 and then you're finally fed up enough to do something about it, well, you have a lot less time to be happy in your new job. Of course, if you're 40 and you want to retrain, absolutely do it so that you can get a better job that is more suited to what you're like. But if that happens in your 20s, do it then. So your 20s can be this really awesome time to try big things, try big dreams, and attempt ridiculous things. I figure if I mess everything up in my 20s and I have to start all over in my 30s, that's okay because time is on your side when you are in your 20s and you don't want to give up that opportunity or that dream because it seems too big or too impossible. Go for the dream and you have time to pick up the pieces later. I think the worst thing for me would be to get to 40 or 50 or 60 and realize that I never did the things that I really wanted to do. I never learned the things that I wanted to do. I never had the job that I wanted to have. I never had the family I wanted to have or whatever it was. I didn't go for that dream when I was young. And then you get to your 60s and you still didn't do it. And that's just really sad. In your 20s, dream big, try big things, and don't give up on your dreams. Try those impossible things that you have been wanting to do so that you can set up your financial life and you can set up the rest of your life to be what you're hoping it's going to be. If this video was useful to you, let YouTube know, hit that like button, and subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this. Thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye for now.